Just a little more than half an hour from Kanab, Utah, there is a beautiful place to explore called the Pariah Town Site. Not only does it have a lot of gorgeous scenery, but it has a ton of history as well. This five mile long dirt road will drop you down deep into a super colorful valley. Way back in the 1800s, 130 farmers called this place home, but they were all eventually chased out by the constant flooding of the river. Just after you cross through the metal gate, you're going to see one of the things that make this area totally worth visiting up here on your right. The colorful dirt here is what is known as a Chinle Formation. And here you will be able to see stripes of white, orange, purple, and green. If you get a chance to visit on a cloudier day, the colors will be much more vibrant. We were here over the course of two days and we had some intermittent clouds, so we did get to enjoy it a little bit. This is a great spot to stop, take in the view, and enjoy this epic photo op. But at this point, you have seriously just gotten in the gate and there is still a lot to see. The road will eventually make a hard bend to the left. This is another great spot to stop and get out and enjoy the super colorful mountains. The road here is almost like a clay and you definitely would not want to visit in the rain. There are a couple pretty steep hills here and if they were slippery I think it would even be challenging for the Jeep to get back up. And also all of the spinning of the wheels to get up the hill would be very damaging to the road. Once you reach the bottom of the big hill, you will have officially arrived at the Pariah Town Site, or as the settlers called it, Paria. If you enjoy learning the history of things, there are plenty of signs here with tons of information about the history of this town and the hard living conditions that its inhabitants had to go through. Luckily, things are a lot easier now and you can enjoy yourself and the view at the picnic tables. Sadly, pretty much all of Paria was washed away by constant flooding, and now all that remains is the town cemetery. The headstones here have all been worn down by both time and the elements, but a plaque has since been installed as a tribute to the Perea residents. When we heard about the ruins here, we thought that it was something to do with the old town of Perea, but it turns out that it was actually a movie set from the 60s. There were a lot of TV shows and movies filmed here, and it was in use between 1963 and 1991. On our first trip to Pariah, we didn't know exactly where the town site was, so we ended up just throwing a dress on V and taking some fun pictures. Luckily, we had a small gap in our itinerary the following day, so we did some research and we found out exactly where we needed to go. One great thing about Pariah is it's one of those spots that you can either spend all day at, or you can just pop in for an hour or two and head off to somewhere else. On our second trip, we came in and bypassed all of the other scenic waypoints and headed straight to the river. This video was shot in March and the river wasn't flowing very heavily. Obviously you need to know your limits and do not attempt this hike if it does not look safe to cross. At first we were using logs and other ways to try and keep our feet dry, but it was inevitable and we just had to get in the water. The hike from the river to the ruins comes in at right around 1.4 miles round trip. And it is also pretty much flat except for this small climb that you see here. This was the easiest option that we could find to get up out of the riverbed. I'm not sure if there's other options further downstream, but either way, once you get up, you're going to continue going in the same direction. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if you're expecting to see a pristine Hollywood movie set, you're not going to see it here. Between the harsh weather conditions and an unfortunate arson incident in 2006, the movie set has been reduced to rubble, but it's still pretty cool to check out in my opinion. All in all, there are going to be five different structures that you're going to be able to see. Two of them, including this one, are still somewhat intact. I'm not exactly sure what this one was. If you know, please let us know in the comments below. Also, on the way to the last two structures, you're going to be passing over a large patch of purple dirt, which is kind of interesting, especially if you've never seen it up close. It's really too bad. We would have loved to have seen this place in all of its glory. Unfortunately, the only way to do that these days is to see pictures. It did look really cool. The last structure that you come to is also the most intact, and even it looks like it's on borrowed time. It appears that all that is keeping this one up is the large beam that's supporting it from the back. It's pretty crazy to think that old western legends like John Wayne were actually walking around through these buildings at one point. If you're a fan of photographing abandoned and broken down things, you're going to love it here. Between the old dilapidated building and the gorgeous surroundings, it could be easy to spend some serious time here. One thing that I found interesting about these buildings being used as a movie set is that they are actually functional buildings. 
It's not like the ones that you see on the Universal Studios back lot where it's just a fake front of a building. But then again, if you're gonna drive all the way out here, you probably wanna be able to film all your exterior and interior shots at the same place. Finally, it was time to say goodbye to the Pariah movie set, but we weren't completely done exploring the area just yet. On the way back, we had to make one quick stop so we can get up close and personal and check out those perfectly striped mountains. It was pretty amazing to get up close and see just how defined the lines are in between the colors. It's hard to believe that at one point this entire area was underwater, and that's what created the stripes that you see today. And all of this happened somewhere around 220 million years ago. So if you thought that the movie set in the old town of Perea went way back, this makes them seem like they were practically brand new. One thing is for sure, this area is incredible and we need to help keep it that way. If you decide to visit the area, be sure to clean up after yourself and practice leave no trace. I would love to see places like this stay pristine and perfect for everyone's enjoyment for generations to come. This is an out and back trail, so after you pass the beautiful Chinle Mountains, you just need to climb back down to the river bottom and head back towards the car. You might want to bring another pair of shoes or some sandals because you're going to get your shoes soaked one more time right before you get to the car. And that is pretty much going to do it for our video of the Pariah Town site. Utah has so many amazing places to explore. We have a bunch of great articles coming up, but we still don't feel like we've even scratched the surface. If you enjoy our adventures, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when we make new videos. Check us out on Instagram at thatadventurelife underscore official. And for all the information about the Pariah Town site, as well as other awesome things to do in Utah, head on over to thatadventurelife.com.